The embattled Senate candidate from Alabama, Roy Moore, what he says tonight about the future of his race after that fifth accuser tearfully coming forward. And tonight, that new report from The New Yorker saying Moore might have been banned from a local mall because of reports he badgered teenage girls. ABC's Tom Yamas and our team tonight with a former worker from that mall. Even as the allegations against him pile up, tonight, Roy Moore's campaign tells ABC News there's no way he's dropping out. The people of Alabama know me, they know my character. Moore undeterred by the accusations of Beverly Young Nelson, who said Moore sexually assaulted her in his car when she was 16. I tried fighting him off while yelling at him to stop. But instead of stopping, he began squeezing my neck, attempting to force my head onto his crotch. Finally, she says, Moore gave up. And he then looked at me and he told me, he said, you're just a child. And he said, I am the district attorney of Etowa County. And if you tell anyone about this, no one will ever believe you. Her comments come on the heels of a bombshell Washington Post report. One woman claiming Moore molested her when she was 14. Three others who say he dated them or asked them out when they were teenagers and he was in his 30s. Moore has denied doing anything inappropriate. But there are now new reports that around that same time, Moore was a familiar presence at a local mall. ABC's Stephanie Ramos spoke to a woman who says she worked there and was warned about him. He preferred younger women and to keep an eye on the young girls while they were working because he would try to date them and sometimes it made them nervous. In Washington, a growing number of Senate Republicans say Moore is not welcome here. He's obviously not uh, fit to be in the United States Senate. Moore calling it trash and filth, an inside hit job by the Washington elite who wallow in the swamp. Some Alabama Republican officials are still in his corner. Congressman Mo Brooks telling one local paper, America faces huge challenges that are vastly more important than contested sexual allegations from four decades ago. Representative Brooks, Tom Yamas with ABC, how are you? Are, are Today, you I tracked down Roy? Congressman Brooks are, are on Capitol Hill. For Roy Moore, do you support him? Representative Brooks, the people of Alabama probably want to know, are you still supporting Roy Moore? So you still believe Roy Moore then? I believe that the Democrat will do great damage to our country on a myriad of issues. Sticking with the Republican candidate, Tom Yamas joins us from Capitol Hill tonight. And Tom, this evening ABC News has learned the Republican National Committee is no longer putting any money behind Roy Moore's campaign. But you're also learning more tonight about a suspicious robocall in Alabama. What do you know? That's right, David. The dark arts of politics apparently underway in Alabama right now. We just spoke with a pastor who says he received the robocall. In the robocall, someone claiming to be a reporter from the Washington Post asked to speak to a female in her 50s who has damaging information on Roy Moore. And if they have that information, the Post would pay $5,000 to $7,000 for this information. Now, the Post says this is a completely bogus call. And tonight they put out this statement. We are shocked and appalled that anyone would stoop to this level to discredit real journalism. David. Tom Yamas, great to have you on the Hill again tonight.